Good morning, friends. Long time no see. It's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm. Hope you're doing well. Today, I'm finally back out at the farm after a week of uh, illness and travel. <laughs> and we are going to start tearing out the uh, flowers in the beds so that we can flip them for the spring blooming crop. So it's good to be back, although I gotta say I'm still feeling pretty awful. Uh, about almost three weeks ago, I got in touch with something that uh, I apparently am allergic to and it caused a rash, which uh, started to spread and then became systemic and uh, my immune system went haywire. And so um, I went on steroidal ointment to put on the rash, as well as taking Zyrtec 24 hours, uh, every 24 hours, that was my doctor prescribed. And we hoped that that would fix the problem. And it started to work, but then it kept spreading and it was starting to go to places where I'm not allowed to put that ointment because it's a steroidal ointment. Um, so it was all in my scalp and it was starting to move across my face and I had this constant, oh, my hands were just blew up. They were covered. This is for the whole time we were in Oregon while we were um, taking Dylan back to school. And so when I got back, I decided I had to go on and start the prednisone um, and I did and I had really bad reaction to the first full day on prednisone. I'm on a tapering dose for 15 um, days, and so it is, uh, you know, it was a high dose for the first five days, and it's gonna be a medium dose for the next five days, and then a small dose for the final five days, and that should be good. Um, it works, I mean, I am mostly rash-free. I don't have that prickly itchiness all over my body anymore but the uh, side effects from prednisone have not been fun so i haven't been sleeping at all um i think i've gotten a total of about five hours in the last 48 and uh the unrelenting nausea and stomach pain uh like gnawing hunger that i just can't satiate has uh, not been fun so my doctor lowered my dose um we're gonna do a it's lower than it should be for treating this kind of allergic uh, dermatitis, but because of my reaction, we kind of thought that would be the only way to do it. So today's a little bit better. Still not feeling good, but I gotta get stuff done. And it's a beautiful day today. This is the one nice day this whole week we're gonna have. Uh, yesterday, it was 96 degrees Fahrenheit, and today the high is supposed to be 72 Fahrenheit. Tomorrow, we're back up into the upper 80s and then 90s again. And so we're in the roller coaster part of our year before our fall temperatures settle in, which is usually not until November. And so for the next six weeks or so, we're gonna be up and down. Um, hopefully we'll get some rain coming in the next six weeks. All that being said, I am out here and looking forward to um, starting to clear these beds. I'm gonna use my trimmer that has a hedge trimmer attachment. So we're just gonna go skim along the surface and cut everything down. I'll carry that all over to the compost bin and uh, we'll just start clearing those, these beds. Um, I'm not going to reshape the beds today. I just wanna try to get the the plant material cleared off. Later this week, we're getting compost delivered. And so I'm gonna take this cardboard, some of it goes into this cardboard. <laughs> some of it's gonna go into the new raised bed and some of it is going to go uh, for the pathways, side paths, um, so we can keep everything weed free. But I do need to reshape these beds because the pathways are a little bit bigger than they used to be. And that means the beds have shrunk. So I wanna make sure I have my 30 inch wide beds. The bed shaping, that will happen later this week. Um, um, it'll, it'll be hot, so I'll be trying to be out here in the mornings and not in the afternoons. Also, I'm hoping this week to get the irises planted and do a whole video on these bearded irises for you guys. Um, it, they've been sitting in the greenhouse in a box and they're just slowly drying out and I don't really want that to be to destroy them. So <clears throat> got to get those in the ground, too. So that's kind of the goals. Um, yeah, I'm hoping we can make some progress. I'm excited about the compost coming because that is like the tip off of the major switch into the fall. Um, all the seedlings in the greenhouse are looking good. They are, most everything has germinated and they are slowly putting on growth. Um, I'm gonna start fertilizing them this week and uh, hopefully in the next 
three weeks, they'll be ready to go out here and be transplanted. I'm going to let them stay in the soil blocks a little longer than I normally do, as long as they're still looking healthy, because I want them to be as big as possible before they go out here, um, since they're going to have to deal with gophers and mice and rats and birds and <laughs> all that stuff. So, um, yeah, I did order... Uh, netting, insect netting that I'm going to use to cover uh, especially the status. And I think if I do that, then the status won't get picked apart by birds and it will just flourish and we'll have a nice huge crop of status uh, next year. All right, so let's get started. I don't know how long I'll be able to go because I, like I said, I'm pretty wiped out, uh, but I'm not in pain and I'm not itching. So that's a bonus. Uh, and it's a beautiful, cloudy, cool day. So I'm excited to get this work going.
Well, it's a start. Uh, so these beds are mostly empty except for all the major weeds. And that is poison hemlock. So that I've got to get out tomorrow, uh, dig it up by the root. It's got a usually really big tap root down to at least a foot. Um, real important to get that thing out of there. Um, and these I'm gonna have to dig up as well because they also have really deep tap roots. Also, not something you wanna to touch with your hands. <laughs> so yeah, I gotta do some major pulling tomorrow. You'll notice I did not use the hedge trimmer attachment on a lot of this stuff. And uh, well, the Lysianthus for the most part had shallow roots and so I was just gonna pull those up anyway. And, um, Oh, I just saw a mouse. Um, this stuff over here ended up being very deeply rooted. This was scabiosa and stuff. So I actually uh, did cut some of them off at the base, but I tried to pull up as much as I could. The soil's still in good shape. I'm not too worried about it. I usually like to cut off at the base and just then, you know, add the soil on top and all that kind of stuff and plant into it. But I was afraid if I did that, the um, they would just grow back and then I'd have multiple plants uh, where they didn't belong in the beds. So as you can see, lots of scary weeds that I've got to get up. Um, that'll be tomorrow. And this bed mostly cleared out. I need to cut those off at the base down there. Um, super deeply rooted and then this i'm going to have to till the edge in order to remake this bed because it got really narrow uh, still need to clean these beds out lots and lots of weeds and of course lots of gopher activity so i did uh set a bunch of gopher traps um, the last time i was out here and none of them caught anything so i'm gonna have to go full bore uh, after i get all this stuff out and just set traps everywhere and hope that i can trap them before over the next three weeks before i have to put seedlings out here because Otherwise, the seedlings are just going to disappear. Um, still a lot more to go. Look at how scary that <laughs> literally that requires a, a shovel. So I have this narrow two of them narrow, uh, narrow spade shovels. That's the only way to dig these out, because uh, like I said, their tap roots are super deep uh, and they are way too spiky to touch. Uh, even with rose gloves on, it goes right through them. They're like hypodermic needles. So still need to get all this stuff out of this bed. Um, that's gonna involve loppers, because those uh, trunks, they're actual trunks at this point. <laughs> they're really big um, and deeply rooted, so I'm gonna pull all those out. I'm not growing these, well, Sweet Annie I'll grow next year, but this apple of Peru, I'm not gonna grow anymore. Um, I like it, but there's no market for it, so there's no point. Um, yeah, so making progress, still have a lot to do, but that's okay. Uh, our compost bin is filling up. I put a, go ahead, went ahead and installed a wire gate on the front so that I can keep filling it and it can spill over to the front and I can just keep packing it tall. That just over a period of days will press down. And hopefully when we get the rains, um, it will also compress down and start turning that into good compost going to take time but that's okay I'm not in a rush um all right so I know what my job is tomorrow it's gonna be warm tomorrow so um, I'm gonna try to come out early and get as much done as possible in the early hours um, before it gets too hot it's the air temperature right now is comfortable but it's very warm in the sun so I think I'm gonna take myself home uh I think I'm done for the day. I feel pretty wiped out, but you know, I made some good progress. So that feels good. It's definitely gonna be a challenge remaking these beds. Um, I'm gonna have to go in with a, a rake and really clean up these edges. You know, it's fine. I can take this over to the left a little bit. These are a little bit easier because they have the cloth down on them. So the beds will still be pretty much where they need to be way more weeds out here than any other place I've grown. And so that's a bigger battle. Um, and that's where the tiller comes in handy. I'm not ne necessarily tilling the beds, I'm tilling the pathways next to them so that I can get up the weeds and then put cardboard and uh, wood chips down to suppress the weeds. So it's a process, um, but it's gonna happen and it'll look great. And I'm glad we still have time. <laughs> Those seedlings are way too small to come out here, which is great. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have a wonderful time in your garden. And uh, I'll see you in the next one when we continue with what you just saw and hopefully make this place not look like such a disaster. It really looks, <laughs> looks awful right now. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks again for hanging out. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.